Right, hello viewers, I'm back at the range. Uh, quarter six in the morning. The nights are getting longer now, so it uh, won't be long before uh, I'll be starting at eight o'clock, I think. But uh, what I've got with me today is the BSA AR10, and I've got the knockout shrubs again. And we'll see how well they do through the R10. Uh, these are the 13.43 grains. I uh, still can't find any of the 10.03 grain ones available yet uh, and whether we'll see them in the near future I don't know it seems like there's a, a worldwide shortage of uh, lead pellets and slugs and things so uh, I mean for the price they're comparable to pellets so they probably are one of the most economical slugs so as, as long as it's shoot okay, it is an option. Uh, but uh, so we'll get some of the uh, lighter weight slugs, and we won't know how well they do. But I have heard good reports on them. But anyway, for today it's going to be the 13.43 grain slugs from uh, JSP Knockout. I'll be starting at 30 odd zero, and these are the uh, 5.52 ads. So uh, let's get on with the test. Okay, so I've got a target set up at uh, 30 odds. I've took the silencer off, so I'm going with, going with the uh, short carbine mode at the moment. Uh, I didn't want the silencers to affect the shots, so I thought might as well remove it. We'll try it through a magazine. Uh, to be honest, I've not got a single shot loader anyway for this, so uh, if it don't work, it don't work. But. Hopefully it will. But they seem to fit these magazines okay, they're well encased. Now I have I have cleaned the barrel on this this morning. Pulled it through three times. Not lubed the slugs. Uh, if I've got any uh, lubricants in your bag. And lubricate them uh, after the zero. But uh, the 13.43 grains come in tins of 400 and the 10.03 grains come in tins of 500. So ten pound, between £10 and £11, very good value for a slug. I ain't got a clue where this is going to go. Uh, I'll just uh, parallax it in. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fire 10 shots. I'm going to point in right at the uh, black dot in the middle. Mm. 
clean the bow, maybe it needs leading in a bit. Uh, most of them seem to be going bottom left, but a few of them did go. The first one went high up. I did fill the rifle up just before I started. That can sometimes make a difference. Fire a few shots before you start for shooting the pellets or slugs. Uh, I'll fire another group of uh, 10 and we'll see if it tightens up. Let's say that I've got the uh, target set out at 30 yards. It's, it's worth trying them. Uh, it might just mean that these heavier pellets need to be moving faster. Uh, some of the swage slugs that are designed by British manufacturers that are designed for sub 12 foot pound rifles. Uh, if you look on Giles site it more or less says designed for about 900 feet per second but uh, may work in sub 12. So you might be lucky if you've got the right barrel. Definitely seem to be greeting me bottom left. Apart from that one. I'm not going to say anything. So I'll make adjustments now. I'm going to send it over to the right. Uh, I'm not really going to touch the shoulder. I think most of them are going to like the seven o'clock sort of area. Okay, so that's really tightening up now. Uh, I'd say centre centre, it's around half an inch. Say squares on it, they're just under an inch. So definitely capable of half inch groups anyway. But at 30. What I'm going to do now? I'll put a new target up. I'm going to send it back to 40 because sometimes the slugs they can basically come on aim when you get further out which is strange but I know that that is a fact with them further out you get sometimes the tighter they get we'll find out soon won't we now what, what I've been doing the last uh, couple of days uh, Jack Todd that uh, 
bring down to the range. It's been shooting for my bench at home, but it's more or less falling apart. So he wanted me to build him a custom bench. So for the last couple of days, that's what I've been doing for him. It's quite a big one. It's, uh, six foot wide, probably like five foot long. So it's got plenty of room. Uh, so I'll show you the progress on that in the next video. Uh, we've been waiting for some legs coming from Amazon, which are expected to come today. Uh, so if they arrive today, I only need about 10 minutes to do it. So I'll just go over there, fit the legs. It's got some stain for the wood, so he's going to paint that up. So we'll show you the new bench we've got. Okay then, that's 40 yards. Okay then, target's now at 40. Probably going to have to adjust for uh, elevation yet, so. I'm going to pull it up. Eight clicks. See what happens. Okay. I'm going to go for the centre target and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fire 10 shots just keep it on aim and see what happens Too bad actually. The wind is blowing a bit, but they've gone to the left, uh, to the right. So right, just for the uh, windage. Uh, I'll come down two clicks, I think. Okay. Forty yards. They're not too bad. Top left. Where do you have one on there? Just to an old bit.
top left again. Definitely the best group so far. Went for that one that drops outside that circle. Yeah, best group that one. Jeez, my wrist killing. Got off rice and all. Open. Alright. Let's go with this magazine because it could be a magazine thing as well. Definitely the best group. Uh, right, what I'm going to do now. That's 40 yards. I, uh, I'm going to shoot some of the reactive target spinners on that target frame. So I'll just have to pan out just a bit. But based on the accuracy of those slugs on the last group shouldn't have a problem hitting half to one inch spinners at 40 yards ok we you know that that's what we've got in a, on the left and the right got the star at 50 I think Okay, ah, there's some like CA2 capsules on the right hand side. Spinner below it, about a quarter of an inch. Got it. Just in case. Uh, spear on the bottom or left if it works on the frame. And there's one in it. So yeah, works well at fifth, uh, 40. Let's stick it out to 50 now. Uh, in fact, there's a target frame behind that at 50. So I'm just going to move that frame that I've been shooting at and go for the frame at 50 that's behind it. Uh, may stick a small target card on it to uh, see what the elevation needs to be or shall I just uh, see if I can see the slug and then use my mill dots I might do that actually but there seems to be uh, like in the cold hammer forge barrel of the BSA R10 so if it's good for an R10 it should be good for any of the other BSA barrels and gamo as well. So uh, I'll move the frame up there and we'll uh, start shooting at the 50 yard mark. Ok 
we had 50 yards we shot at the uh, target up there Let's see what the drop is two mil dots, that extra 10 yards two mil dots right on the frame I'm going to go for the four uh, targets at the top Spin a bit lower. I don't know where that went. Got it. Okay, let's go for the uh, walking target. for that spinner next to it. Mm. I think I'll to the left again. left hand side of the range now of a frame dropped off a bit there we go move it So there we are then, that's the BSAR 10 with the 13.43 grain knockout slug. Not too bad actually, not too bad at all. Uh, what I'm going to do, the last, the last thing I'm going to do now is the target that I've put up there, that I've shot at, to get me point of impact. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fire the last 10 at that at 50 yards and then we'll get see what the grouping's like. So sort of like shooting at targets like that, the uh, reactive ones, we don't know where about you are hitting them. But uh, you see how tight I can get the group now at 50. With two mil dots of old over. Uh, what I'll also do when I get home, I'm gonna chronograph ton of these through the rifle and we'll see what kind of power it's give, giving. Uh, it's always interesting to see what, what kind of power it's got with a slug because normally you can lose up to two foot pounds. Uh, be interesting. You've got a ten, ten and a half foot pound rifle, it can still be like inch groups at 50 yards or whatever. It's not too bad is it? So, see the rocks rolled over. Don't have to pack. 
I was dropping off now, I don't know. I'm not quite sure where that went. Well, I can see it. It's on the red ring. So it's almost three mil drops now. I'm going to just keep that two mil dot old over. Strange that one, that's gone more or less there where I'm aiming at, but to the left. See the old it's forming, uh, and that's th actually three mil dots now. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Uh, I think I took one shot initially. That slug gave me a two mil dot all over it. And I was thinking, looking at it, it's more like three. But there we go. That is the uh, R10 and the uh, knockout slug up to 50 yards. So uh, you'll see the uh, the results from the chronograph test. Uh, but uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay then, off at the business end, there's a target I just fired at. Got one, two, three, four, five, but uh, five all in that group there. And that seems to be the story with the other things I've fired as well. Got five within a tight group, then five outside, so not sure what that's all about. But uh, 50 yards, not bad at all with a slug. Okay then, we're back at base. Uh, just loaded a magazine of 10 rounds. Uh, picked them straight from the tin. None of them have been weighed. So that's got to be taken into account. But uh, 10 shots then through the uh, BSA R10. And we'll see what kind of uh, energy it's putting out. 10. Point two. Ten point one ten point four ten point one nine point nine nine point nine nine point nine ten point two ten point Zero. One last one. Ten. Point. Zero. So, as you can see from that, uh, <laughs> the slug didn't do too bad at all at that kind of power, did it? So the average is 10.1 foot-pounds, with a high of 10.4 and a low of 9.9. .9. And the feet per second gave us an average of 581. I have 592, low of 575, spread is 17, standard deviation 5.2. Now what I'm going to do now in comparison, I'm going to put a Barracuda pellet for a Barracuda match, which is 10.65 grey, and we'll see what the comparable difference is. Okay then, we'll see what the comparisons are with the 10.65 uh, grain Barracuda match. 11.4 Eleven point two. 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 Eleven point one. Eleven point two. Eleven. Point zero ten point nine. 
Okay then, so you can see the pellets bring out a more powerful result. Reasons behind it are basically the surface area on the slug causes more friction as it goes up the barrel than the, the head and the skirt does on a, on a pellet. So that is the difference there. So uh, looking at that, we've got an average of 11.2 foot pounds, high of 11.4, a low of 10.9. Feet per second wise, that gave us an average of 6.87, high of 6.94, low of 6.80, so that's a spread of 14, standard deviation 3.8. So that is the conclusion of the test for the knockout slugs, and thanks for watching.